Hey everyone, this is a Grand Celestial here. I just been finished uh, doing the laundry for my bed sheets. And I'm gonna place some more sand in this structure and then continue this walkthrough. I'm gonna get off the bar stool. It's uncomfortable. Whoops, I went in without thinking. It's just a scratch. Sorry. Whoa! That one attack took out Augin? Huh, maybe I should have just switched in with Topi. Thanks to the real speed buff world ward, I'm barely affected. You have to, if that color causes any debuffs.
the only special attack I haven't done yet is for Nausea. This trick is toast. She's like, you have proven your resolve. If you desire the world to end, so be it. Be struck, I grant you my power. Create with the world fit for freedom. Stop I thought there'd be some dialogue. I mean, the voice for the Jade says Zephyr sounded epic. Okay, thanks to the sand, sand rabbits, lost my profit that's doubled, so I gained like 49,599 gold. That's almost 100k right there. So, on. Uh, now all four, four primal lords are in their egg form, so Kiri now harnesses their power. But he doesn't feel it. And we get more orders from the World Annihilation Front. They say to speak with Lacuritus Rex. Oh yeah, if I did, did say that not to a Rex was the last beast lord, I really let left. I le left out with Kertus Rex. Oh yeah, I'm also going to uh, suffer by doing another puzzle with if you remember the clocks when I first entered the the build, building, like the clockwork manner. Well, you you just had to go go into the world right places, but this time you're just messing around with switches, and I really hate to do that kind of stuff in an RPG game. Well, see you ne next time, because uh, this will be the la last episode I may make for this pe period for the walkthrough of Sands of Destruction. So, th thanks for uh, watching. Uh, enjoy, enjoy what I have uh, to offer, because I've been holding out so mu much on the Kingdom Hearts walkthrough. See ya.